Hi guys, <clears throat> I'm Ken, the Boring Fisherman. Uh, we went out with uh, Roach's Charters out of Pacific City today. Uh, you'll see that in one of my previous videos. But uh, we brought home our three limits of fish for myself, my wife, and my little sister. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean a couple of these up and show you how I cut a rockfish. And uh, we'll go from there. It helps to have a good sharp knife. This is an old Kershaw. I've had it for years and years. Uh, I just hit it with a steel before I came outside with it, so hopefully it'll be sharp enough to do the job. So on these rockfish, this one is a blue rockfish. I should probably go to the other side so that you get better light. So this is a blue rockfish, you can tell by the little mouth on it, and uh, right behind the gill here there's a section of bone right ahead of the fin, and you're going to find that bone, and you're going to cut right behind it. And I like to go at an angle, get right behind the head, cut right in there, and then I cut diagonally to behind the fins here, so it's a nice diagonal cut. Just like this I could feel the spine with the knife so that's as far as I'm gonna go I like to hold him by the mouth roll the knife and I just follow that spine back now I'm through the ribs still just following the spine and then I stop just shy of the tail before the knife comes out and flip that flay right over and I kind of lay it flat and I start this knife back into the fillet here, pull it up to the edge of the table, keep the knife at an angle and press against the skin. Just like that. And there's a fillet, no skin on it. And there's a, uh, a line of bones right along here. I'll just come in right above that line of bones. Straight down. That is nice firm meat too. And then I come right behind this belly cavity, right behind all the ribs. And uh, that's all nothing but bone. There's a little bit of meat here. It looks like a lot more than it really is. But uh, I'm going to turn that into some crab later. So I'm going to throw that in my bait barrel here. And then uh, I always try and make sure to feel make sure I didn't miss any bones in it because we like our fillets to be boneless. From this point, what I do, because of the ways that I like to cook these, is uh, I'll follow this lateral line here where I started this cut above those bones. I'll just follow it right back. And there you have a fish nugget. I like to call them a fish McNugget. And then here's your fish stick, the top half of the fillet. And I'll roll the fish over and do the same thing again. Here's that bone I was talking about. You can kind of see it sticking up here. So right behind that, diagonally, behind the back of the head so you don't miss the meat that's there. And then roll the knife, follow the spine. There's those ribs again. Just follow the spine of that fish down. Stop just shy of the tail. Flip the fillet over. And I like being at the edge of the cutting board so the handle of my knife isn't making me be at a weird angle. There's that second fillet, fish carcass. Just keep that for crab bait or garden fertilizer or whatever else. Same thing here. I actually was a little bit a uh, little bit off of the spine here with these ribs. But I'll go right above those bones to the back and then right behind all the ribs to cut all of them out.
Same thing again, follow that lateral line. Fish stick, fish McNugget. At this point, I'll just rinse everything off. Super stiff garden hose. The light fan with the hose. Just to rinse the uh, scales and stuff off of the meat. You don't want to put a lot of, a lot of, uh, dang it. You don't want to put a lot of pressure into the meat or you'll blow the grains apart with the hose. And this is a nice firm rockfish fillet. This is going to make a fantastic batch of fish and chips or fantastic filling for a fish taco. Some of the best eating fish around, in my opinion. And between every fish, I like to give my cutting board a good rinse. Once you've cut one of these rockfish, they're all pretty much the same. This one's another another one of them blues. This is about average size for those fish, for these. Uh, the black rockfish get a little bit bigger. Sometimes these get a little bit bigger, but this is about average. This is a really good quality fish here. Right behind the fin there. Hold it by the mouth. These fish don't have teeth, so you can hold them by the mouth, unlike the link cod. The majority of the time we'll get both fillets off and then clean them both up at the same time. And if you do book a trip and go with uh, Roach's Charters, uh, Joey offers this as one of his services. He'll fillet all your fish for you. He uses an electric knife. I don't mind filleting my own fish. Feels like cheating if I don't. Same thing, we got this line of bones here. Right above it, follow them down. And right behind the rib here. Feel around, make sure you didn't miss any of these bones. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like biting into a fish bone when I'm eating my fish and chips or my fish tacos. Nice fillets, meat's nice and firm. Sometimes I'll just clean the ribs out and leave the fillets whole, but I think that these are going to end up in the fry pan for lunch today. We left the left the beach at about 6.30, and at about 8.45 we were limited out back on the beach. So, I think we're going to cook these up for lunch. There it is. That's uh, how I cut my rockfish.